Max Effect is shot in front of a live studio audience. Yeah, he's my favorite. Oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> I didn't hear you, man. Come on. I'll take it. Seven. Not eight, not six. Two minutes to get across to 110 to Normandy, Normandy to Venice, three minutes. Over to Union is one plus one. Mm -hmm. Shit happens. It's okay if I time you? Knock yourself out. What do I get if you're wrong? Free ride? Get an apology. <laughs> First time in LA? No. Tell you the truth, whenever I'm here, I can't wait to leave. Yeah, was... Sprawled out, disconnected. I read about this guy who gets on the MTA here, dies. <laughs> Six hours he's riding the subway before anybody notices his corpse doing laps around LA, people on and off sitting next to him. Nobody notices. Aww. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll make it 600. So oh, I'd do it, you know what I'm saying? Here's 300 down. What's your name? Max. Max. I'm Vincent. All right. I can't stay double parked here, though. I'll meet you in the alley behind the building. All right. Oh, that looks delicious. <laughs> I bet it was Vince. It was marked by words. I bet it was Vince. Damn it. My man, you all right? <laughs> oh, shit. You killed no, I shot him. Bullets in the fall killed him. <laughs> oh, Vince. Red light, Max. Hold on, hold on. You got it? He's, he's twitching and shit. <laughs> you know, I don't really like Detective Fanny as a character. Ramon! Viene soon a vieja, cabrón! This is the same night he just happened to show up right after Vince killed him. Ah, uh, Max Effect, you're slipping. Hands on the wheel, 10 and 2. Because I say so. You know, uh, they have a kind of a tense relationship. You know, Vince can be a little pushy, but that's one of the great things about the show is that they, in the end, they're always there for each other. I gotta get out of here. What's up, man? What's going on? Look, I'm tied up in here. This guy tied me up, but he's up in this building. Okay. Have it. Josh Hartnett really let his hair grow out for this. Yeah, I'm trapped, so let's get me out of here so we can call the cops. You give me a fuck one. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding you? Honestly, I think it's one of his better performances, though. My hands are tied to the steering wheel. I don't give a fuck what they're tied to. I'll fuck you up. Don't shoot, man. It makes sense. He had to grow it out for that. Penny Dreadful show with Marion Cotillard, right? It's for real. No. Good noise. Yo, homie. Is that my briefcase? Is your briefcase? Yeah, it is. Why? You want it back? I want your wallet. What else you got for me? Huh? Oh! Fuck! Legitimate badass. How do you top that badassness? Oh, just did it. Remember that Bay Area deal, Oakland? Cabby drove around all night, killed three people, then put the gun to his head? Yeah, the guy flipped out, so what? So that Oakland PD detective, what's his name? He never bought it. Anyway, that detective always thought there was someone else in that cab. Oh, you're so smart, Fanny. Hey, Mom. Been calling and calling. Yeah, well, I got caught up at work. 
Why couldn't you call me on the telephone? I'm lying here wondering something terrible happened to you. I brought you flowers. <laughs> it's kind of a weird shot to hold on. I was with Max when he, uh, when he got the call. And you came all the way over here to see me? It's nothing, ma'am. <laughs> Tell my son, you have to hold a gun to his head and make him do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you must be one of Max's important clients. Client, I, uh, you know, I like to think of myself as his friend. What? Don't, don't talk about me like I'm not right here in the room here. Max has always had that jealousy he thing with Vince because people really take to Vince quickly. Yes, you are. <laughs> He's sensitive. I know. You say your name was again? My name is Vincent, ma'am. Visit again? No, I'm just uh, in town tonight. Oh, Max, don't do that. Vince's been working on that forever. Couple squabble. Oh, how am I prepped What's going? What's my work? The D Street all came in within half an hour of each other, right? The kid and that last guy, both done by the same shooter, I think. Oh, that's just convenient, isn't it, Fanny? Oh, I hate you. I'm, I'm here to see Felix, so he has something for me. Oh, no, no, Felix. See, and Max does the right thing. He's supporting Vincent. They come and go in cars, pickups, taxis. Other than that, we watch air move. <laughs> no interest in the case. Well, our interest, we, we got a situation. Two bodies could be a coincidence, could not be a coincidence. It doesn't look like when we get Turney and his client. Roots all beat to shit. Oh, come on, Finn. You just happened to notice that in black and white footage. Can you uh, zoom in on this? Sorry, that's not put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Story time with Uncle Felix. Do you believe in Humpty Dumpty? No. Do you believe in Santa Claus? No. Nor do I. Nor do I, but my children do. They're still small. But do you know who they like even better than Santa Claus? His helper. Pedro El Negro. Black Peter. There's an old Mexican tale <clears throat> that tells of how Santa Claus got so very busy looking out for the good children that he had to hire some help to look out for the bad children. So he hired Pedro, and Santa Claus gave him a list with all the names of all the bad children. And he would come back. And if the children were still misbehaving, Pedro would take them away and nobody would ever see them again. Now, if I am being Santa Claus, and you are Pedro. That's racist. How do you think jolly old Santa Claus would feel if one day Pedro came into his office and said, I lost the list? How fucking furious do you think he will get? Aw, thanks, Uncle Felix. What if these guys are wrong? They got the guy admitting his name is Vincent. He's in there talking to the bad guy. There's something else going on. Ugh, I hear they're actually writing Fanny Ann in the next season. It's their ball, it's their game, there's nothing in it for us. There's nothing in it for you! That's right. It's late, I'm going home. You know what time it is? Finally, get a nice sign out. This is exactly what they needed. Oh, what's Fanny doing there? Fanny's always had this thing. He thinks he knows what's best for Max, but he's just a selfish dick. He just doesn't want him to be around Vince. Oh, what are you doing, Vince? He's dancing with somebody else. Dance with the one that brung you. See Fanny moving right in. I told you so. See, this is always their issue. Vince is always bringing work when they're supposed to be spending time together. Oh. Okay, I feel like that's a little bit of an overreaction, but I mean, that's always been Vince's problem. 
But hey, I told you. Do I get any thanks? No. All you can do is clam up. You want to talk? Want me to fuck off? Fuck off. <laughs> Someday. How much you got saved? That ain't none of my business. Someday, someday my dream will come. One night you'll wake up and you'll discover it never happened. Alright, season finale. You know they gotta do something big never here. Know, suddenly you are old. Go fuck yourself! Whoa! That's pretty big! Okay, it's a little out of character for Max. Put your gun down! Get back! Put your hands down! Look, put down the gun! Go. Stop moving! Stop moving! Where did this become a negotiation? Okay, where? Where's he going? Max? Is he pointing a gun at him? Why? What are you gonna do about it? Go! Oh, jeez! Okay, again, a little far here. You guys can, you can still work it out. Rex! Oh, Max, she's married to Wild Wild Smith anyway. Max! I do this for a living! Maybe that's the issue. Maybe that's been the issue. Okay, got it out of their system. Sure, I got Laffy Taffy. See, now they can sit and have a real talk. Hey, Max. The guy gets on the MTA here in LA and dies. They get everybody on notice. Wait, what? No. No. Too big. <sighs> wow. They get rid of Fanny, but kill Vince too. Jeez. Guess we'll see what happens next season. Pretty good. Let's see if Niobe gets some more screen. Zero to five. Thank you.